It always comes to this. Oh there guys, here to do another tattoo progress update today. Um, where I last left off, I had showed off the uh, rose on my bicep. And this is uh, pretty well fully healed now. But it's still like dry, kind of flaky, but for the most part all the big flake has come off. So um, it looks about the same as the other two that I showed off. This one of my ditch seems to have done the best of all, honestly. <laughs> um, I actually was thinking that the ditch would have been, if anything, the worst part, and it's probably the most vibrant part, the most um, clear part of the whole thing. So I thought I'd have some blowouts, I have some really bad scarring in my ditches, so um, yeah, I was expecting way worse with that, but um, the rose bicep is my favorite rose so far. Again, as I said, it's a little bit dry right now, I've been busy. Um, Anyway, I actually wasn't sure I was going to get to this vlog today, but if I didn't, I wouldn't have been uh, making one for another few days, so I wanted to try and fit it in. I actually had a dentist appointment, oddly enough, this week, and I don't love dentist appointments, but I'll get into that in a minute. Um, <laughs> so what I got into this time was uh, Rick and I had another session. Uh, we did all this black, um, all this shadowing underneath the tentacles, and... Uh, did some more white in the, the teeth slash the, the tusks or the fangs or whatever you want to call them um, that this one over here didn't take as well last time and uh, it's taken much better this time but because it wasn't as sturdy as the other one it's still not going to be as bright as the other one even on the second pass but it's pretty good now um, I think that's going to heal about the way that it looks right now this is uh, the day later so um, it's already kind of mixed in and as I've shown once the ink mixes it kind of just stays that way so for example if I was doing these right after um, right after the session this would all look a little bit brighter that's why that that day one is fun but uh, it's a little misleading what you want is uh, day two day three that's where you can see kind of where you're gonna be at at the end of things so anyway yeah uh, this piece is coming together great, obviously. I don't need to say that anymore. Um, all that's left now, I think, is uh, whether you like it or not. I don't think there's any room left for doubt in this anymore. I'm still getting those, like, oh, that'll never work comments here or there, but those are kind of starting to go away. Um, now it's like, um, I've had people say, oh, but uh, your black isn't the blackest black out there. You think that makes a difference? It's like, first off, yeah, I'm pretty dark. Um, there's a lot of difference in lighting with Blackout. Uh, I've had a few people actually ask me that watch this channel if I've had this experience where in some lights you look um, blue, in some lights you look dark gray, some lights you look like a soft gray, um, and then another time you look black. It's all about the lighting. Um, but I, I don't want to... I don't want to be too egotistical here, but like we did multiple, multiple coats of black over me. Um, it wasn't getting any blacker from there. I mean, uh, we've changed the tone of the black with with uh, Panthera, but even when you use Panthera black, uh, that black has a natural fade to it too, where it's not going to be um, it's not going to be as black as say a black T-shirt forever. That's not the way blackouts stay so and even this black here that it's super dark right now it's going to mellow out a little bit the intention is never that it's going to stay as black as that it's that you get a shade different um also you're backing up the black with white if you're smart you're backing up the color with black if you're smart um you're using contrast if you're smart if you're doing this the right way um if you've been watching these vlogs you'll have a head start I was starting from nothing. I had no idea what would work. And uh, I had to write the roadmap for myself because there's no one else out there that was sharing this information with me. I didn't have a, a Remy channel to watch. So um, 
I was going in cold. I'm kind of hoping that my work will uh, facilitate a, a, a sort of community or um, awareness of how to start a, a multi-layer project like this. Um, it's not like it's succinct. It's not like you can... Like, I've done some videos that would be considered a little more succinct or um, comprehensive. But if you watch um, these vlogs, you'll you'll know the, the pitfalls and the challenges I've had to overcome. And you'll know not to do certain things. So, if you, if you need to, you can learn by my example. Because <laughs> um, there's been a lot of uh, spinning my wheels. Anyway, as I mentioned, I, uh, I went to the dentist... And I haven't been to a dentist in 18 years, I would say. I had a really, really bad experience at the dentist. Um, I had I had my wisdom teeth taken out, and I had to take out all my piercings. And I'll put in a, a picture of what I looked like back then. I had a lot more piercings in my mouth. And uh, my face was incredibly swollen. And trying to fit those piercings back in so that they wouldn't close up... Um, Maybe an hour after the appointment, I tore all of my stitches and I had a very, very bad heel on my uh, wisdom teeth. And they refused to work on me with my piercings in. So so ever since then, I've had a real semi-fear of uh, dentists. Um, as silly as that sounds, I'm a guy who can go and get my tongue split, have over 120 piercings in my life, stretch several piercings that are supposed to be impossible and definitely very painful, to stretch um, and be tattooed for 1400 hours, uh, multi layer bodysuit. I'm more afraid of doing going to the dentist than that because of the traumatic experience that I had there. So, a lot of people have asked me about the Labre, if it or Labret, whatever you call it, if it's affected my teeth or made my gums recede or anything like that. Uh, today, uh, I found out that it hasn't. It hasn't done anything like that. Um, maybe I'm fortunate. I know I used to have smaller lip piercings, and those definitely hadn't had any effect on my gums. But um, I am glad to say that this hasn't had any effect. However, my teeth um, are mostly good, but obviously there are some cavities, and um, there was some pretty thick plaque buildup on the inside of my bottom teeth. Um, because though you floss and brush every day, if you don't go to the dentist for 20 years, it's, uh, pretty easy to have some complications. So, um, the main reason I wanted to go is because I have a chip in the front tooth. So I want to get that filled. I'm all in keeping full disclosure here. Um, I'm not perfect. I've never claimed to be a beautiful, beautiful man. I'm, uh, a fixer upper of a person. I've got problems. I've got my own insecurities and stuff. And um, I'm not afraid to talk about those things. And I don't think people should be. I think people should be more like forthcoming with those sorts of things. But uh, yeah, that's one of my worst like piercing or tattoo related stories was that time I went to the dentist and they definitely did not care or understand or work with my piercings in any way. Um, yeah, it was a nightmare and, uh, I never want to go through that again. <laughs> so my wife was twisting my arm for a long time to go to her dentist because he doesn't give a crap. He'll work on, uh, or they'll work on the team there will work on you with your piercings in. And so the only thing I did was I took out my, uh, my labre or labrette piercing. Um, and that was that, uh, I have another dentist appointment coming up, um, to get some more cleaning done when you go that long without seeing a dentist there's quite a bit to do and uh i actually plan on getting uh two little vampire fangs once my teeth are all fixed so that'll be my little present um this is just one more journey for me uh strange as that may be to some i consider this just one more body mod type thing that's the way i frame these things it was the same way with fitness um i think that looking at through that lens that marathon kind of um that uh journey somewhere that makes it easier for me to understand from my vantage point um but i want to get my teeth uh real good i want to have my i want to be happy with them i don't want to be uh 
I'm not an open mouth smiler anyway, but I want to be to a place where they don't cause me any anxiety or um, they weren't causing me any pain, but I don't want them causing me any future problems because I'm too scared to deal with them now. Anyway, got a little off topic there. I knew I would. I kind of wanted to talk about that for a while anyway. Um, I'll show this off clear again. Um, skeptics be gone. This is a done deal. This is going to be, if you see where we're doing here with this black, it's going to be brought up all throughout the tentacles. As I've been saying, it's probably hard for people to get a mental picture when I describe the, the shading in between and um, the shadowing and stuff, but we're going to, you couldn't do that when we didn't have the, L, like the foreground there, right? But now we have the foreground established. Every time we put black next to one of these colors, it's going to pop them out. The reason why they're a little bit drab or not super punchy right now um, is because they're not accented with like thick, dark black. So the minute they are, um, everything else both like kind of grows off of that. So having that framing every part of this, this is going to be like a sticker. So not only is it going to be color on black, but it's going to be super vibrant, punchy color on black. It's going to be a sticker. And uh, a lot of people might not like that direction, but that is the way it's going to be. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day.